The Storm football team beat Coe 29-7 last week to remain unbeaten in conference play, and that sets up a big rivalry game at Central this week as the two teams battle for the lead in the American Rivers Conference. Joined now by head coach Matt Jeter. Coach, let's get right into it. Last week, a 29-7 win over Co. What did you see that you liked? What did you see that you think you could improve upon? Uh, I thought it was a good victory for the team. It was a really a tough, gritty win for us. Showed a lot of toughness and a lot of resolve. And, you know, the thing that I liked about it was, uh, you know, we went down 7-3 in the third quarter, and I saw offense go back and respond right away. Then we had the block kick in the fourth quarter with 10 minutes left to go up 19-7. So, uh, Really needed a win like that, kind of going into this next week's opponent, but I thought it was just a great team win. Offensively, defensively, and special teams really contributed to that game and uh, really showed a lot of gritness and toughness. Special teams in particular, that seems like that's been something that we can kind of depend on one or two really big plays per game in the last couple of weeks. You, you mentioned the block punt, which was obviously huge, that set up a score. Uh, the kicking game, though, which has been kind of a struggle off and on throughout the year, and we, uh, Joey Gale missed his first field goal attempt on Saturday. Stuck with him, though, and he went three for three the rest of the way. What does that speak to your guys' confidence in him? Yeah, no, you're right. He just, you know, he missed the first kick, just kind of miskicked it. And, uh, you know, I wanted to show him that I still trusted him in that moment right there. And he came back and responded with a clutch kick right, uh, right before halftime. And then he made, went three for three, like you said, the rest of the games. We trust Joey. You know, he's been able to execute, and we had some up and downs with our kicking game there. Um, but he's done a great job here and finished the game for us. So. You mentioned how the offense kind of flipped the switch after we got down seven to three. Defensively, once we took the lead, Cole really didn't do anything the rest of the game. It was a complete shutdown by the Storm defense. Yeah, yeah, we're playing fast right now. You know, I think Coach Haig's doing a great job with those guys and just. Uh, getting the calls in quick, letting the guys go play. Got a lot of speed on defense, a lot of, a lot of tenacity. Those guys play with a lot of confidence right now. So uh, we just kind of let those guys turn it loose right now. And in the second half, I think they had 26 yards from the mid-third quarter on the end of the game, which was really a testament to the guys and how they were playing. Had a big day from Sam Bartlett on the receiving core. I think he's now the third different receiver to go over 100 yards in the game this year. Uh, a couple of big plays. From, uh, catches by him from Tanner Krieger when we were backed up on third down needing a big play if for nothing else than for field position. Yes. Yeah, Sam's a big player for us. He's one of our war daddies in the offseason program and uh, you know he's a kid you know he missed the first three games because of an injury and now he's back at full speed and he's really helping our offense right now. He's a guy that you can count on to make those clutch catches whether it's a, a third down catch or, or a big play a 40-yard play to get you out of field uh, get you gain some field position in that drive. So the win last Saturday over Co. keeps you unbeaten in conference play. There's another team that's unbeaten in conference play, and that's who you meet this week. They're unbeaten overall, 20th ranked in the nation, the Central Dutch. Can't ask for much more than the, the temperature starting to change a little bit, getting a little crisp out there. Fall afternoon, Simpson and Central playing for the lead in the American Rivers Conference. How big is this game coming up on Saturday? Yeah, it's a big game. It's, I think it's a big game. It's a rivalry game for us. You know, it, it makes it even more important now as we're both undefeated. I don't think there's been a lot on the table my first two years as a head football coach here. It's just been a rivalry game and we've been playing for tra tradition. Now we're undefeated, they're undefeated. Our message, mindset, and mentality this week hasn't been any different like that. We're going in and want to go 1-0. and oh, And that's just been our mindset and our mentality going in here. We're excited to go up there and play a great game at Pella. Got a really good dual threat quarterback over there for the Dutch. What do you see on tape out of Central? Yeah, they're tough. Uh, he does a great job, uh, quarterback Blaine Hawkins. Uh, but when you look at him, uh, red zone, red zone offense is really good. I think they're 23 out of 24 scoring touchdowns. And their opposite red zone defense is, is they kind of had a bend but don't break defensive mentality as well. So they're keeping guys out of the end zone there. So that's where we got to win those critical situations, red zone offense, red zone defense, third downs, offensive defense. We got to win those critical moments on Saturday. We're kind of at the midway point now. What's different about your team today than it was when you checked in for camp in August? Yeah. I think when we checked in, in August, guys didn't really, I think they believed that they were going to win. Now that that's kind of came to fruition the first five weeks, and we went four and one, we won on a row, we beat a conference, uh, we beat Warburg at Warburg, so we won some really tough, gritty games. I think now it's the expectation like, hey, we are really a good football team, and we could beat anybody in any place. All right. Well, Coach.
Coach, good luck on Saturday. All right, thank you. Kickoff set for 1 o'clock in Pella. If you can't make it in person, you can listen online at knicrls.com where Andrew Swadner and Rick Wilson will have the call.